This demo shows several of our products in action, including our SCADA data gateway, the communication protocol test harness, and our DNP source code library. On the far right, the triangle represents a small RTU or IED running our source code libraries. The compactness of our libraries is illustrated by the fact that the small processor you see is running our source code library. In the middle, we have a SCADA data gateway that is acting as a protocol translator and data concentrator. Above the SCADA data gateway, we have two OPC clients. The one on the left demonstrates a small SCADA system, developed using Iconics Genesis 32, that displays the current data in the triangle. On the right is a simple OPC client that displays all points in a tabular format. The simple OPC client was developed using Visual Basic and the source code, a few hundred lines of code, ships with the SCADA data gateway. On the left, we have a communication protocol test harness. The communication protocol test harness is a Windows application that acts as a simple master or slave device and can also be programmed with an automated test sequence through a scripting capability. The test harness can be used to emulate a master and or outstation. In this example, we're running four outstation emulations that ship with the test harness, an ABB power control device, or PCD, a Schweitzer SEL351S, a generic DNP3 outstation, and a generic Modbus outstation. Each of these devices, along with the triangle, is sending data to the SCADA data gateway. We can press the front panel buttons to cause data changes and see the corresponding change in the SCADA data gateway and the OPC client. In this little video, we're going to show some data flowing through the SCADA data gateway. To begin with, let's look at the triangle. We can see in the uh, SCADA data gateway configuration window, the green switch is on, the red switch is off, and we've got them displayed um, in the Iconics. Uh, OPC client as well. Interesting thing about the, the triangle, uh, down is on and off is up. Um, if I go over to the triangle and I flip the red switch, notice it just toggled to down and the red status also updated so it's now on. So what happened here, we flipped the switch in the, on the triangle and that was reported up via DNP to the SCADA data gateway and that was passed to an OPC client with a visual HMI uh, to show the operator that the switch position changed. Let's take a look at another example. I'm going to bring in the command window from the test harness on the far left, and I'm going to bring in the ABB PCD simulator from the test harness running on the middle screen. Um, here, this master DNP simulator communicates to the SCADA data gateway via serial connection, and the uh, PCD simulator is communicating to the SCADA data gateway through a TCP IP connection. So we're seeing the gateway used as a data concentrator and uh, also translating from a serial to a TCP IP connection. If we look in the OPC client, we see the current state 52A is on and 52B and 79 LOA are both off. And if we scroll down a little bit and look over here at the currents, we see that there is current flowing through the relay. If we look at the relay itself, it says it's closed, uh, both in the front panel indicator and in the little side status here. So I'm going to come back over to the protocol command window, and I'm going to issue a trip command. And when I issue that trip command, that's going to the SCADA data gateway, which passes it down to the PCD. Notice now the PCD is open. The state up here also shows it's open. And if we go back and look in the OPC client, all of the currents are now zero. And if we look at the top status, they've changed as well. 52A is now off, and 52B and 79LOA are both on.